very much. Do a little setting up. All right. I was going to go first. <laughs> I don't have any short jokes. I'm tall. Oh, that's the worst joke I've ever told in my entire life. <laughs> um, hey, here's something crazy. Did y'all know that Travis Scott just is promoted better health counseling after he killed eight people in Astro World? Is that not the craziest shit you've ever heard in your entire life? Seriously, that is some dark ass shit. It's like if your abusive boyfriend came up to you and was like, hey, I'm gonna give you a gym membership to Planet Fitness. Better help is the shittiest counseling you could ever get, and I say that as a professional therapist, which is what I do for a living. All right, I think we're ready. Mr. Frank Casper. Thank you very much. Yeah. Woo! All right. All right, let's get this show on the road. Shit, let's talk about sex. I ain't got time to waste your time. I'm an old man. I'm having sex with old women these days. Let me tell you, you have sex with old women, you got to get your shit together. You got to do a little bit of research. So according to last month's uh, Cosmopolitan magazine, only... 32% of women over the age of 57 have ever had oral sex performed on them. Well, yeah. Well, let me tell you what I found out about performing oral sex on older women. You don't know. You don't know what's down there. You don't know until you get down there. I'm telling you. One time, it was like that show uh, on TV, an episode of that show called uh, Eating History. You know what I mean? You don't know if you're going to be opening up a canister of, of uh, saltine crackers from the Civil War or popping up a box of Cracker Jacks from the 1930s. You just don't know, I'm telling you. You ain't got no idea. You don't know until you get down there. And sometimes it's like that other show. You know that show, Wicked Tuna? I'm telling you what, that's enough to gag old Smokey right there. If she happens to be of the Asian persuasion, you might find yourself getting a big old whiff of some spicy tuna. That's right. If she flips that thing around on you, you might find yourself watching on an ancient egg roll. If that's the case, I recommend low extra wasabi. Cuts down on the smell and freshens your breath. So I tell you what, I'm driving south, going down to the poinsett package to work with a mountain liquor. I stop at the stoplight there, and on the left, on the corner, you know what's there? A little porn shop called Seductions. I've never been in there, wasn't thinking about going in there. But they got one of them big digital billboards now, it's flashing up there, it says, Welcome to the South's one and only Redneck Dildo Rodeo Shop. Well, hell, that flipped my blinker. I'm turning left and pulling in there. I get out. I'm just like you. I'm looking for gifts for Christmas for the family, so I walk on in there. Looking around, pretty nice place. Young lady behind the counter says, can I help you, sir? I pause for a minute. I don't want to go full porn on her. So I said, uh, where's the massage oils at? She goes back there on the back show. Sir, I'm going to check them out. So I go back there. I'm looking at them, I pick one up. It's made by Intimate Earth, and it's called Sex Syrup Massage Oil. Ranch flavor. Ranch flavor? I heard you fuckers put that shit on everything, but I know it's confirmed now. If you're putting it on dicks and balls and pussy and ass, you'll put that shit on anything. <laughs> you're treating that like Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You'll put it on anything. <laughs> so next thing I know, I'm, I'm walking down the aisle, I see something. Ladies, check this out. I found something you might find in your stocking this Christmas. You ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's called the big. The big OMG. The big, oh my God, vibrating ring, three speed vertical motor for maximum clitoral contact. Now it's stretchy and comfortable. And for the ladies on the road, it comes with a convenient USB charging cable. Now, this little unit's priced just right at $24.95 for those people trying to sneak under that $25 Dirty Santa price limit. I got you covered. Now, for the guys, listen up. Ladies, I hear you all the time saying, I don't know what to get by a man. My man's got everything. Well, he might not have this in his toolbox. You ready for this? It's called the Scribo Wingo Double Locking Curved. Cock ring. That's right. Don't worry. It comes in camo. 
And according to Field and Stream Magazine, nine out of 10 duck hunters prefer this because it can also be used as a bottle opener or a carabiner. <laughs> That's right. So I'll put that on the shelf. I'm coming back later for that. Now turn the corner on the shelf. There's this item. And if I could describe it one word, it'd be disturbing. You ready for this? It's called the Hanky Spanky Spank Me Vibrating Black Lace Thong Panties with Stroker Beads. You know what that is? I don't even know what Stroker Beads are, but it comes with them. And it also comes with a 12 amp rechargeable lithium battery. Now, according to Home and Garden Magazine, this is preferred by 9 out of 10 soccer moms because if they get stranded, they can use it to jumpstart the Prius, or if they're at home, they can stoke the backyard fire pit. I'm telling you. And now I'm looking around the store, and I see there's a curtain back there separating me in the front with the little toys from what I'm assuming are the big boy toys in the back. Sure enough, as I walk through the curtain, there she is in all her glory. Ready, fully pumped and ready to be humped. Stacy, Lacy, sorry, Lacy, the inflatable, sexy sister, three hole love doll. There she is, looking down at me, smiling, lips open a little bit, legs open a little bit wider, trying to entice me in there. I'm walking up close, I get close, I see the price tag though. 169.69, damn, over my budget. So I'm thinking, well, let me jump online, see if I can find some customer reviews to help me justify this purchase. So I whip out the phone, open up the Coochie Chatter app, and there it is. Four reviews right there on the Coochie Chatter app. You, you heard of that? No. <laughs> it's good. You should get it. Great reviews. Great reviews and discount coupons. So there's four reviews, and here they are. First review, ready? It's called Nice Lacey, four stars, submitted by Ron, but not a verified buyer. I'm a little suspect, but here's what Ron had to say. This doll is great and a good money's worth. I like how she poses. I had to rest her a little bit, but I got her, she good. All right, Ron. Now this next review though, one star. One star review, not good. Titled, Worst Thing I've Ever Used, submitted by a verified anonymous buyer. Says, this doll busted after two times of use. She also cut me, don't get this system. Damn, Lacey's cutting people up. <laughs> now the third one, four star review, submitted by Al, a verified buyer, titled, Pretty Damn Good, Four Exclamation Points. Al says, I bought from a different source, but as far as the quality is concerned, a very pleasurable experience. I especially like the two different leg positions that made her easy to penetrate in either pussy or ants. But also not very good orally. Not enough depth to fully accommodate my penis. I give Lacey an A minus because she got a short throat. Damn. <laughs> so I guess what she's trying to say guys out there with the long schlongs, don't buy it. Just put it back on the shelf. Now, the last review caught my eye for two reasons. One, the title, and it's another one that's in all caps. So he's all happy when he typed it in. So here's the title. Review of model number CNVLD-SC 1938. Four stars by a verified anonymous buyer. It says, this was a good one. Leg positions was key. This made it easy for me to mount her. Me and Al gangbanger in a threesome. What? what? Her and Al gangbanger in a threesome? Shit. I put that sister back on the shelf. And if you're curious, I bought my sister, my sister, my girlfriend. <laughs> oops, oops. Bought, bought my girlfriend, it's Arkansas. Uh, those thong lace panties, because check this out. I found out I can use them stroker beads as a replacement chain on my 18 inch cobalt chainsaw. And for myself, for myself, I got me a half a gallon of that ranch syrup. Hell yeah, I'm taking that shit to J-Town's Bar and Grill next Wednesday night for a Wingo Bingo. Thank you very much, Mr. Frank. Man, he's bold as fuck, isn't he? He has the confidence of 12 men in those hats. Um, 
You really talk a lot of bad sex for someone that looks like they haven't had it for a really long time. He ran the light five minutes. Seriously, guys, this is an open mic. But we 